Hey guys, welcome back. So today, we're going to be making square things. <laughs> um, I'm going to try hmm, to do uh, some flowers, so we'll see how that turns out. So what I've got in total here is about two and a half ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one taken about a half ounce out and put it over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put roughly an ounce in each one of these because in my experience thin resin layers tend to work a little bit better for blooms for me. I don't know about other people, but for me, that's the case. So that's about an ounce in each one. Nifty. All right, I'm going to gently go over with Tiny Torch just to make sure that all of those little pin bubbles are out. And I've got four colors that I'm going to be doing over here. Uh, these are my about alcohol inks. I've got bright green, golden yellow, bright red, and red. So I'm going to give these a little shake up. And like I said, we're going to try to do a flower, see how it goes. Uh, my blooms have been lacking lately, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put two drops of the golden yellow in the middle. And then go around with my red. And this will also help with bubbles because it's alcohol. All right, and then with the bright red. regular red just to give it some depth of flavor it's like adding a little bit of sugar to your uh, spaghetti sauce it just brings out the flavor all right and while those are settling we're gonna make our white now what I have here is my alumilite white pigment paste and since we've only got about 20 mil here, I'm not going to use very much of it. I'm just going to do mm, let's look at one drop and see how it does, shall we? Because this stuff is pretty pigmented and I don't want it to be too heavy. Now that those colors have had a chance to Get familiar with each other. Uh, I'm get some bubbles out of my white gently with tiny torch, not getting too close, just pulsing it. And you can see that's a nice, nice white color. And I want thicker lines because the thicker you make the petals, the easier it blooms. So I'm going to grab this guy right here. Let's see, compared to my fingertip, and it's just a flat silicone tool. And then I'll just start making petals.
All right, so now that that's done, I'm just going to go in and start breaking up any blobbies that I see. And anybody who's done or tried or watched or seen or anything about blooms, we know that blobs are our nemesis. So we want to try to get those out of the way as much as we can. So I'm trying to be real careful to go in and break them up, but not hit the silicone at the bottom because I don't want to scratch the mold on accident. And also, it'll interrupt the bloom itself. You can see I'm just wiping off my stick over here on the side between each one. I mean, I don't really mind if the petals turn pink. They're going to turn pink anyway. They're in red alcohol ink, for crying out loud. But, you know what I mean. Alright. Switch out to a different wipey. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Just go around there, get any bubbles that I happen to stir up by messing with the resin. So it will happen. And I will scoot you guys in. I mess up my camera angle while I'm doing it. Uh, right? Enjoy the time lapse. Fooey Tim one to one, and I'm going to be adding Get Off My Lawn, which is a blend that I made, and I thought that the green would go well uh, with the red flowers, so we shall see. Okay. Squirt it with some alcohol, just to make sure that we get the bubbles out and also get any other foreign objects that might happen to want to hang out in there, mainly this hair. All right. So I will see you guys 
for the demult. See you then. It's time. No, I haven't peeked. I'm waiting for you guys. So let's let's get it out. Just loosen them up. stuck. Ooh. Like I said, my blooms have not been behaving lately, so hopefully this will work. So, all right, ready? One, two, three. Just they look. Oh, I'm so pleased. Let's look at this one first. Look at the dimension in that. Oh, I'm just so happy. Oh. turned out beautifully. So, what do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh, I'm just excited. So excited. So, yay! Ah, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.